Hi, welcome to my channel. My name's Christy and I've just started this channel to just show you all how I live my day-to-day -day life with all of my health conditions and I kind of just want to give people tips that I've learned along the way on how to survive life basically, just small things from brushing your teeth, putting your makeup on, drying your hair, opening a can up, cutting bread, cutting anything, just small things like that. And along the way, I think I'm going to be doing some blogs as well, some vlogs. And I've opened up an Insta to go with this channel. So it's the Zebra Diaries 83. And I just want to interact with everyone. If you've got tips that you know as well, I'd like you to comment below. And just, I want us to build up a community where we can all feel like we can share our experiences, have a moan, have a rant, have a giggle, share our good days as well as our bad days. So it's not all going to be negative stuff. I'd like to I'd kind of like it to be fun as well and I'm not going to be looking like this every day <laughs> I'm going to be brave and drop my pride and show how I look on my bad days as well because makeup is just a barrier that most of us use to just hide how we're feeling and sometimes I'm not even well enough to put this barrier on or this mask so I know a lot of you that I've spoken to already have said that they can't put makeup on anymore and I completely understand there are some days when I feel like that as well so I think we just have to be strong and stand proud and if we look terrible then we look terrible that's how we're feeling and we can't help it that's us and if you've got the dark circles and we've got the eye bags and we're looking pale and we're looking like death warmed up basically then fine so be it but this channel is going to be a place where we're going to be showing no smoke and mirrors anymore the real life of what it's like to live with chronic illnesses and i personally i'm a zebra I have Ehlers Danlos syndrome and the zebra represents kind of anyone with a rare illness that doctors wouldn't automatically think of. So they say that when you hear hooves, think of horses and not zebras. And the doctors are actually taught that in medical school. So basically, if you've got a rash, just say it's eczema. Don't look into it. Or I don't know, some doctors have said to me that I had ME when actually I had a whole range of other illnesses that aren't as common to diagnose. So they're not the best examples, but they're just the ones off the tip of my tongue right now. And if you've had a long journey along the way of being diagnosed, then please share below. I'm going to be talking about my long journey to having my diagnosis and how it just spiralled out of control. One diagnosis left to another, led to another, led to another, and it just was like a snowball effect. And it's just not how I thought my life would turn out. And to be truthful, I'm still grieving my old life. And grief is quite a big subject when it comes to illnesses, and it's not really spoken about much. But it's true, we grieve our old lives and that grief never goes away, never. It's deep within and we push it to the back of our minds and to the back of our hearts because we can't grieve every day or we'd just be a ball in the corner of the room, a mess basically. We have to try and just get on with our lives but the grief sometimes really does take over and it can be just a small memory or something on TV that's shown up that's just triggered off our old life. I used to be a dancer, I used to be a dance teacher, I was in musical theatre and my whole life I trained to do this job and just as I got to like the peak of my career I got ill and I was told I had to give it up immediately. Literally my life felt like it was over, everything that I trained for, everything that my heart wanted was gone literally in an instance and I had nothing left. I had nothing except hospital appointments, tests, investigations, appointments, letdowns. It was just, it was horrendous. And I know that my story isn't the only story like that. There are so many others out there who have experienced the same thing. So basically, this is just my introduction. That's just a small part. It's literally the tip of the iceberg. And this channel is going to explore everything about illnesses, conditions, coping mechanisms, grief, um, things that have given you hope, you know, I found meditation and crystal healing and things like that. But, you know, everyone else, 
you know everyone's found their own thing and I would just love to know about all of these and I'd like to thank you all for joining my channel please hit subscribe and hit the notifications bell somewhere around here and that way you'll be notified when I upload another video so again I'd just like to thank you for your support and just know that things are going to get raw there may be tears along the way and I don't think I am scared to show them anymore so join me for the ride oh my god the youtube ride i don't know what i'm getting myself into but i'm gonna do it anyway so for now i'm gonna say thank you have a good weekend and i'll join you next week when my ring light arrives Ooh. bye everyone